What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little pass is a business. A dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, your horror safe haven. I'm Chelsea. And I'm James. We're married and we like to get scared <laughs> together. And occasionally, Chelsea likes to torture me with games. Yes. So this week, unfortunately, we were going to have Phil Tippett on. I was really looking forward to that. But, you know, life happens. We'll have him on some other time. Uh, just scheduling stuff. So instead, I had to kind of... This is of, the last podcast of the year? This is the last podcast of the year, so yep. I wanted to do something special. And since we couldn't do a classy interview with a legend, I thought, let's do a game episode where I just ruin James for an hour, however long this goes. Please not more than an hour. <laughs> you already have a beer. You're ready. I don't even drink beer anymore. I'm on a diet. But you had you had to bring one for this. I figured last podcast of the year and this shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I need a, a Modelo Especial. Yeah. It's the holiday season. Uh, Why do I like Mexican beer so much? It's good. Is this and Dos Equis? Mm-hmm. They're my jam. Uh, thank you for coming out to Season Screamings, by the yeah. way. If you met us there. That was a lot of fun. That was awesome. That it was, was really, great really meeting nice. so many people. Uh, I don't know. Everyone was so cool. And then, you know what? I, uh, and the horror subreddit just yesterday, there was a post, uh, people who have been to horror conventions, who are some of the nicest and meanest celebrities you've met. And so obviously I clicked it yeah. a lot of D Wallace love, a lot of D Wallace oh, love. I mean, she's... Heather got shouted yeah. out a bunch. Tony Todd always up there. Uh, I forget who else, but a few people said James and Chelsea from dead meat. Really? They like, yeah, yeah. There were a few. And I was like, Cool. A couple people said us. Yeah. Nice. yeah. That's why it takes a really long time to meet us. We have, we tend, <laughs> we'll have like a line. It's not even because I think we're that popular. I think it's because we talk to people. Well, the same thing with Mike Flanagan, who was also mentioned in mm-hmm. there. He just talks to people a mm-hmm. lot and like actually has a conversation with you, which is really nice. So. By the way. Oh, Matthew Lillard. Oh, highly, like we frequently still mentioned. Meet him. Still have never met him. Yeah. By the way, if you are one, if you are, I think, I forget who, who was in the picture, if it was one or two people, but if you were the lucky person or people that got the, kind of weird exclusive photo op where it was me and James and then Mike Flanagan in the background yeah, photo bombing <laughs> uh put that picture online because I want to see you got you had such a weird I rare did. oh did they yeah yeah I saw it on Instagram very so. exclusive photo op mm-hmm. my favorite also was I like was, that they knew too they knew who Mike yeah, they was, knew who he was and obviously you know and so they appreciate my it. favorite is he was offering to take pictures for people at our at our booth <laughs> Mike's the best, he's, man. He's so he's fucking such a nice down man. to earth. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So this week, we're going to play a game, and I'm basing this on a game show that I've recently become obsessed fucking with. Fucking obsessed with, it's hon. It's just very relaxing. I don't know. I, I, how How is a show that makes me feel so fucking dumb relaxing to you? I, think I don't just, think I've ever gotten a single thing right. On that show, have you have you guessed yeah. any patterns? That Is that really your average, like of. one a day? Like like one per episode, maybe I'll get. Really, I'm actually super impressed by that. Yeah, because it's so it, it, it's this is a, a British uh, game show. That's all you need to say. <laughs> maybe that's why it's so relaxing. Everyone has very pleasant sounding accents to my ear. Yeah. Um, that it's called Only Connect, and it is the most obtuse difficult game show I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, it's really, it <laughs> really challenging. But that's why it feels so good when you get one, you know? And it's funny. I mean, the host, Victoria Corn Mitchell, is so funny. I I love her. I, I'm going to try my best this episode to be like a less classy, less beautiful <laughs> version really of her. Is that no, just I just felt like straightening okay. my hair. Uh, <laughs> no, she has like long, yeah, it's flowing long, hair. Yeah, yeah. It's this game show where you're finding connections and sequences within four random clues that are given to you. And I feel like all the contestants on this show are like indoor kids, <laughs> you know, like just really, really intelligent people. They're studying that quiz bowl Bible. Yes, it's yeah. very. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know, but I'm I'm into it. I tweeted about wanting to do a horror version of this and some people who knew what I was talking about were very into it. So let's go. Lucky I, had, them, man. I had to I had to put all this together in a day. Thank you, Jeremy and Tim, our our two writers, for helping me come up with these 
uh, quiz questions because this was truly a last minute thing. We have to film this before Gressel goes back to Michigan for the holidays. We did it. Let's go. Do you need me to, exp- I guess I should explain the rules. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I un- I know the rules, but maybe for the people listening and watching. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let let me explain let me explain the rules because you've watched this it with me, but show. I've wa- I don't think I've watched an entire episode. Though. Really? Yeah, that's no, a I'm shame. Just, you're but you're just you're you, listener. You don't understand. It's always on. This show is always on. Just like it's such good background noise. Too. She's Even getting if I'm ready for something. Actively... It's on. She's folding clothes. It's on. I've learned so much about geography and like <laughs> British prime ministers. That's the thing. Is half the time when I walk <laughs> and, like, in, rules the questions. Of snooker. <laughs> yeah, they're just British as fuck. And I just I can't. I can't do it. I hope these questions aren't British. No, no, no. These are these are all horror based questions. And we're gonna do two rounds. We're gonna do we're gonna do their first two rounds. Jesus, I'm already just I'm already so punchy. I'm already so pissed. (laughs) I haven't even tried to answer anything yet. Okay, so round one is our our connections round, James. Okay. And I'm gonna give you four clues one at a time, right? And you're gonna have to guess what they all have in common. Mm -hmm. You get five points. For guessing after only one clue. Which, how? Some Sometimes it, it's it's kind of like, I've seen it when you can tell it's contestants who watch the show and you sometimes know what patterns to look for. And if you're like, I think maybe since this first clue is this, they might be looking for this and people just get lucky and gamble. It's rare. That's insane. But it happens. Okay. Uh, Three points after two clues, two points after three clues, and one point if you need all four clues. Uh, Are you going to be as ruthless with the time limit? No, no, no. I'm going to I'm going, I'm going to give you some time to breathe. Because that show, man, they're like, here's the clue. Here's the clue. What's your answer? Wrong. I'm yeah, like, Dude, I couldn't even fucking think. No, no, no. We don't have a... TV network that we're beholden to. Good. We're not on BBC Four or whatever they're on. <laughs> now I'll give you some time. The quattro. We can chat. I'll maybe give you some hints. It'll be it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's start you off. Our first one. We'll we'll go in easy ish. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Here's your first clue for five points. The Evil Dead. Okay. That could, that could be anything. So give me the next. Okay. One. For three points, Carrie. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I swear, the, the theme music yeah, that plays yeah. while they're uh-huh. trying to answer dun, dun, just dun, haunts dun, my dreams. Dun. And then it's just... They're all like yeah, they're just whispering. Like, the team is whispering to try and figure it out. So the Evil Dead and Carrie. And here's the thing. With this show, the connections could be entirely superficial. They could be like, oh, uh, the first letter of this was A. The, next, the first letter of the next one's B. So here are the other... These are a bit more... All so they won't be have, bullshit like that? No. Okay. All of these have more so to do with the horror trivia aspect of it. They're not like, oh, the way these words are spelled okay. or something. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Evil Dead came out 1981. Carrie, 1976. I'll just say you're on the wrong track already. Well, don't, you know, let me I don't know how much here. help you want. You can't yell at me that it's hard and then be mad when I help. I haven't help. yelled that it's hard yet. <laughs> So just wait for that. Okay. Give me the third clue, please. Your third clue for two points. American Psycho. Evil Dead. Carrie. American Psycho. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I mean, there's... The supernatural is not a thing. Like... You're, thi- you're thinking the, the way they do on the show, though, which I shows me that you've paid attention when I put it on for both of us. <laughs> it's just osmosis into my brain. It's lots of lateral thinking, which yeah. is what, what All I right, like. All right, give me the last one. Okay, your last clue for one point, Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, no. Beetlejuice. Okay, Evil Dead. Mm-hmm. The, the Evil Dead? The Evil Dead, yes. Okay. The Carrie, Evil Dead, Carrie. American Psycho. American Psycho Beetlejuice. and Beetlejuice. So these are all movie titles. Mm-hmm. What do they have in common? Um, Carrie, so they're not like first time directors. Can I give you a hint? Yes. The answer to this is something when we met people at Season Screamings this weekend, mm-hmm. a lot of people were saying, when are you going to do blank on the podcast? When are you going to talk about this on the podcast? Shit. 
um, thing that all these have in common. I mean, it's not like having disabilities. No. <laughs> so that was, you know. Beetlejuice's disability is he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the <mean>. ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate disability. <laughs> when are you going to talk about this thing on the podcast that these mm-hmm. four movies have in common. What could we dedicate an entire episode to that people want? The people are begging, and we will at some point do Not it. Not remakes. But I'm just wondering how we can do it without getting copyright flagged. Oh, There's another say without getting canceled. <laughs> no, <laughs> without getting canceled. Uh, <laughs> no, copyright flagged. Is it, whole, is it something it is. about scores, like music? You're close. You're getting warmer. Like, you're you're so close. Oh, man. I don't know. These are all horror or horror-adjacent movies that were turned into musicals. Shit. Yeah. Again, lots of people want an episode yeah, about that. Yeah, Beetlejuice, yeah. that's a good last one. Yeah, that's what I thought would give it away is Beetlejuice. Because it's Shit. like, why Beetlejuice, yeah. you know? Okay. I do want to do that episode someday, but again... I'm worried about playing clips. And I feel like in an episode about musicals, you should play clips of the songs. Yeah. That's why uh, the Rocky Horror Kill Count, which I would fucking love to do, oh, is yeah, probably not, an impossibility. Yeah. Man, it's... Fuck YouTube. Yeah. Fuck this thing that we are on right now yep. and that gives us money. <laughs> All right. Next one. Yeah. For five points, Space Jockey. Okay. So from Alien. Okay. It's kind of like an inciting incident. It's a a figure that is found dead in the movie by the other characters. It is large. Space Jock is real big. It's pretty cool looking. All right, what's the next one? For three points, Clover. That's the monster from Cloverfield. Also large. Who are these large boys? Large aliens. Large aliens who crash land. Large alien boys who crash land. That's not the answer, no. I didn't submit it <laughs> as an answer. <laughs> okay, so from Alien and from Cloverfield. Mm-hmm. All right, what's number three? Okay, for two points, Rexy. Rexy? Rexy. R-E-X-Y. Re- Rexy? Rexy. <laughs> Is that from We're Back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rexy, Rexy? Mm-hmm. the fuck is a Rexy? You're gonna you're gonna kick yourself, dude, when you find out what this is. Oh man, what's the fourth one? For one point, Bruce. Bruce the shark. Rexy. <laughs> Russell, do West you know? Raven's new nightmare. Th- this. I'm not gonna explode yet. About how difficult <laughs> Wait, we're is. two I questions sorry. in. I have a guess. Did you actually guess the musical one I last did. time? Fuck. Did Beetlejuice give it away? Beetlejuice. Beetle, okay. Beetlejuice. That will be the only one I get. Yeah. Unless I'm right about this one. So they're they're individual creatures. Mm-hmm. But Bruce isn't an alien. No. And they're not even all the killer of their mood. The space jockey doesn't even do anything. Besides, look cool. Um, is it found, found by the mo- Oh, man. Can I have a hint? I'm trying to think of a, a hint that's not going to give it away right away. Um. Oh, you should prep some hints, honey. I know. I'm just trying to. Because I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want me to tell you the movie Rexy's from? Sure. Let's get that. As Jurassic a- Park. Oh. Oh, I guess they're called Rexy. Yeah, okay. Okay. So Spielberg's rocking those last two. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't the whole thing with this game that you're supposed to name? Oh, no, that's only if you haven't figured out the fourth one. That's a different round. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay, okay. We'll get to those. There's a second round, and there's less of them because they're harder to come up with where you have to give me the fourth thing. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. Space Jockey, Ridley Scott's Alien, Mm -hmm. 1979. Clover. I forget who did Cloverfield. Is that Abrams? It was Abrams. Yeah, you're right. I was like, okay. 
Spielberg Rexy Jurassic Park. Spielberg Bruce the Shark. Bruce um Oh. Hmm. How many limbs do they have? I don't know that much about clover. What's that look? No? That's no, a no. That's no, a... colder. <laughs> You're getting colder. Okay. Um they all I don't know. Do you do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Okay. These are all nicknames by either the crew or fans, I think, in the case of Clover, for the creatures in their movies. Oh, they're just nicknames? Yeah. See, for me, I had, I had to internalize them so much that I was yeah. just like, oh, that's their name. No, it's not. They're not. You know, the shark is not actually named Bruce in the film. I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that checks out. You're right, hon. Babe, I want you to get this next one. I want so to get bad. A1. I think you'll get this next one for five points. Scary movie. Okay. 2000 parody of slashers, primarily Scream, and I know what you did last summer. About at least 30% problematic. All right, what's the next one? For three points, <laughs> A Long Night at Camp Blood. Oh, these are original titles for uh, movies that were later changed. Scary movie became Scream. A Long Night at Camp Blood, I'm assuming was... No, that wasn't Friday the 13th. It was, it was Friday, Friday the 13th. Yep, okay. but you're right. You get three points. Okay. These are the original or working titles of slasher films. For two points would have been Sadomasochists from Beyond the Grave. What is that? Sadomasochists from Beyond the Grave. Is that Night of the Living Dead? No, it's Hellraiser. And for... Beyond the Grave? That's not right. They're from another dimension. Yeah, it's... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and for one point, Head Cheese. Oh, Fuck. That's not Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, is it? No, it's just or Texas Chainsaw one? Massacre. Okay. Yep. Okay. Head Cheese. Head Cheese. Was one of the working titles of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, three points. Yeah. I knew it. All right. Here we go. For five points. Freaky. Okay. Got, you know, horror comedy. Vince Vaughn, Catherine Newton, Body Swap. Got it. Okay. For three points. The Shining. Very different film. Very different. They have something in common, though. Is there a Shining remake starring Vince Vaughn? Shot for shot? <laughs> if, if only we could be so blessed. <laughs> if that's what I would do with the, uh, Elon Musk money. Yes, for re if I had Elon Musk money, I would remake every classic horror film with shot Vince for Vaughn. Shot with Vince with Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Every movie. Every single classic. The Exorcist with Vince Vaughn as Reagan? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say father. He would be a dope father, Karis, honestly. <laughs> but, but him as Reagan. He'd be an inspired Reagan. He could be. He just plays all the characters, you know? I would remake Psycho 98 again <laughs> with him. Just with older Vince Vaughn? Yes. Okay. God, rich. the rich are so uncreative. <laughs> You know, as we, as we talk about our shot for shot <laughs> remakes, we would make with that money. Just the nadir of creativity. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, it's at least fun. Okay, freaky than The Shining. Then, oh, you want uh, the next one? Yeah, for two points, Saw three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What does Saw 3 have in common with The Shining and Freaky? Oh, slow ass motherfucking Jeff. Mm -hmm. I guess Jack Torrance is kind of slow. As he's hobbling around with that axe. Um, We got, we got flashbacks? No. Uh, Freaky too. We got a buzzsaw kill. Um, is there something about a dagger? No, magic dagger. Uh, let's see, disabling a radio. I'm black. Or I'm gay. You're black. We are so dead. Hmm. <laughs> Jack hmm. Torrance's famous line. From the <laughs> yeah, he says that to uh, to <laughs> to Dick Halloran. <laughs> we saw the Playboy <laughs> or the Playgirl. <laughs> oh my God. Uh. <laughs> What's the fourth item in this? <laughs> For one point, the fourth clue is Jason X. 
Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Saw three. What are you doing there, dude? The fact that it's Saw three, you know? What's going on in that movie? So that movie is Jeff walking around. Uh, dead kid? Dead kids? No. Hmm. Dead kids? Mm-mm. Okay. Ah, uh, Jason X. Sucks on so many levels. Takes place in the future. The others don't. Um. Uh, freaky. It's weird because Freaky and The Shining aren't sequels or really franchise movies. Um. Do you have a hint? Give me a little hint, Ian. Um, something happens in each of these. That is the connecting thing. A specific thing. Okay. No, that is a clue because now I'm not thinking about directors. No, you're not. You have to think about years. Settings. It's not yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. It's not actors. So it's it's a no, thing no, no. That this happens. is this is like a plot specific thing. Okay. Um, Saw Three. Oh. Oh! You got it. People getting frozen to death. You got it. <laughs> movies where a character is frozen to Freaky death. Freaky has the bully girl getting frozen in the cryo chamber thing. Mm -hmm. Shining has Jack Torrance at the end. Mm -hmm. Saw 3 has has the lady tied up who didn't... Uh, she witnessed slow-ass Jeff's son's car accident. And refused to testify. Yes. So he let her freeze to death. And then Jason X has, of course, the liquid nitrogen face mask. Yep. There cool. you go. Okay. Yes. I mean, it was a hint, but I'll still steal that one point. I'm giving you a point. Yeah. Okay. Next one. For five points, The Strangers. Home invasion films. No. Okay. Took a swing. All right. What's the next one? For three points, Insidious. Strangers and Insidious. Very, very different movies. Yeah. They exist in completely different universes. I wish I knew Insidious better. James Wan, mm -hmm. who's my best friend now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, dude, I'm so jealous I couldn't go to that. I know. That was really cool. Uh, well, Kiki Palmer is my best friend, so. Oh, that's fair. All right. Yeah, what's next? For two points. Scream. They all have houses. Like, houses are central to them, but you're saying no. No, that's a lot of movies. Sure. But man, Stu's fucking farmhouse. Because I just wrote the, the recount script. And we're chilling there for 40 minutes at the end of that movie. And it's so good. God, I love being at that place. And I know. I, I miss That's one of my favorite there. things we've ever done. It's, it was so I get homesick cool. for it. I want to go <laughs> we, back. We spent one night was, there and I get homesick. It was just so cozy and <laughs> it I loved the it. Best. God, it was so fucking cool. Okay, so Scream, uh, The Strangers, and shit, what was the middle one? Insidious. Insidious. Fuck, Insidious is so different from those other two with their slasher, well, kind of slashers, not Strangers isn't a slasher. But they th those have like dudes in masks, people in masks. But Insidious has a demon. He's not wearing a Darth Maul mask, it just looks like it. But that's a demon. It's got the, uh, was it, is that the further? Is that where they go? I don't know. I'll say it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the, the last one? For one point, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Another house. No. We can <laughs> They all have houses. They all have houses. There's so many with houses, James. That's not an answer to any of these. It's I don't another guy in a mask. What's Insidious doing there? And that's another home invasion, too, with Texas Chainsaw. It's a reverse home invasion. Yeah. Fuck. Don't go breaking into people's houses. Don't do it. Um. So we got th three killers and the strangers. No. What is Insidious doing there? <laughs> yeah, Insidious is a is a weird one, but I promise we saw something. <laughs> and it's got that. 
He's got that other son who just disappears from that fucking movie. That's a, yeah. <laughs> There's like two sons Where in that, that family. Where does that kid go? They and forget, one. dude. They forget all about that kid. I don't know if they ever get him back. No. I think that the grandparent or whatever just took him. Oh man, I don't know. Do it has. I'll say it has to do with the killers and each one. But Insidious's killer is a fucking demon. It doesn't have to do with what they are. What they do? No. Where they live? No. What they like? No. I don't know any other way to approach it. Who's the killer in Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Leatherface. Who's the killer in Scream? Ghostface. I don't know the... Uh, what's the insidious guy's name? Lipstick Face Demon. Well, there's the problem. You didn't know that it was called I that? Don't know. No, I call him Darth Maul. What about the strangers? Uh, ba Dollface. Dollface. Yeah. These are all face. That's good. Ah, fuck. I don't know Insidious that well enough. Face killers. Oh, damn. I thought you knew he was called Lipstick Face. No, and now I'm going to have another asshole calling me a fake horror fan because I don't know enough about Insidious. Now, there was a podcast where I said I don't know a ton about The Exorcist because I haven't covered it. I and, just saw that Reddit post. And I got accused of, be of this just being a, a, a job and not a passion project just because I don't know a lot about The Exorcist because I was too busy watching the other hundreds of horror movies I watch every year. And so, now I didn't didn't get lipstick face demon. It's a dumb name, by the way. Sorry, James. Great man. I think also you just aren't a huge fan of like supernatural horror. I'm realizing. They're down there for me. Yeah. They're not my favorite. Because like Conjuring is, I think, is yeah. fine. But I think stuff again, with awesome demons James, or you. possession is like not yeah. your thing. Uh, yeah. I guess that's fair to say. That's Because uh, I feel like I remember more of that stuff and I slasher sometimes I just I get them I still get all of the sequels of slasher franchises mixed up and like they it just doesn't stick yeah and I, I don't love way. slashers now but I used to as a kid so yeah. there's still that residual like affection and knowledge at least about it yeah yeah all right all right next one yes <laughs> Dylan Baker. Five points, Dylan Baker. Dylan who the fuck is Dylan Baker? You know D Dylan Baker is a the most like oh that guy when you see a picture of him oh he's shit. like a character guy you would recognize him he was in um oh fuck what's that really fucked up movie he was in Sallow not no Jesus Dylan Baker is not in Sallow you know who I'm talking about Ray Kressel he doesn't I'm gonna show you a picture of him oh wow okay do we have one of those rounds pictures I guess that wouldn't work well on a podcast huh? oh it's a Dylan Baker was in Happiness. That's the movie I'm thinking of. What's happening? It's a little fucked up little movie. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a little fucked up little movie. This guy. Yeah, exactly. This guy. You see him and it's like, oh, right. This guy. He's a this guy. That just looks like a dude to me. Oh, yeah, shit. James has face blindness. Minor, but if you, if you ain't got distinguishing features like Mr. Baker over there, it's not going to do anything for me. All right, what's next? Okay, for three points, David L. Lander. I don't know who that is either. You know who it is. You said maybe that not, about Dylan. Maybe not by that name, though. David L. Lander? Yes. Famously plays a character, not in horror, but he's very well known for something else. Is he one of the doctors? No. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like it could be a, a doctor who... Yeah, like a, like a one-year stint doctor mm -hmm. who like didn't work out, you know. Two points. B.B. Newworth. Ooh. I had a... Big old crush on B.B. New Earth as a kid. Lillian, I figured, Lillian I was, Crane? I was worried you would. I was like, oh, is James going to know? And then I realized, oh, no, she's, she's never mind. Cheers, she's in yeah. the Cheers of her. So you're going to know who she is. <laughs> she does show up a few times in Frasier, you said, oh, yeah. as his ex? Yeah, okay. Because uh, I never watched Frasier, but boy, did I love her in Cheers. B.B. New Earth. What are these? What the fuck? B.B. Newworth was in the faculty. Are all these people in the faculty? No. Damn. But faculty is, you're on the right track. Because my next guest, I would be like, John Stewart. John. Oh, because he, is he's he in, in the, the faculty. faculty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why don't I remember? That's the, yeah, he's in it. Oh. He ends up with an eye patch at the, in the credits. Oh, yeah, because he's a teacher in that. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie, that movie's cast. 
is it's the most really insane weird. cast of people who the next year would explode. It's like the pre, it's pre Frodo Elijah Wood, mm -hmm. uh, just so many people. All right, what's next? Give him the last one. For one point, Henry Winkler. From Little Nicky, yeah. Yes, Henry <laughs> Winkler, best known for Little Nicky. I mean, they're all in sitcoms, or I don't know. I don't know the first two people is the problem. David L. Lander, you said, mm -hmm. and uh, who's who's the other guy? Dylan Baker. Baker, Lander, Newer, Winkler. The Fab Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? This they, would be they'd be a weird ensemble. I mean, do cast. they all play principals? Yes, yeah! they do. They're horror movie high school principals. Okay, is the faculty for BB yes, Newworth? Yeah, principal Valerie Drake, Henry and Winkler. He's the principal in Scream, of course. Principal Arthur Himbry, David Himbry. Olander, otherwise known as Squiggy, is the principal in Scary Movie. He's Principal <laughs> Squigman. You, yeah. And right. Dylan Baker is Principal Stephen Wilkins from Trick or Treat. Mm. Yeah. The one who... That guy. Yes, who poisons the He's candy. He's maybe and... the main character of that movie. He's in the most segments, I think. He's like the real antagonist, I feel like. Or yeah. one of... Because he does the, 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 the chocolate yeah, yeah, yeah. Puke, puke, and then mm -hmm. he's burying the kin, and then he's he, doing the jack-o'-lantern, and then he's a victim for the werewolves. Mm -hmm. And then it, it re it's revealed he's also the, the vampire on the street. Yes, parade. that's right. He's the serial killer. Yeah. Is he the, is he the end of that movie? I can't remember. No, like the, the end finale. loops back to the beginning with the robot lady uh, tearing down to the decorations. Yes, that night. you're right. Yeah, Damn, where she has her husband. It's been do it. a minute since I've watched that. Yeah, we should have watched that this Halloween. Yeah, we should. Next it's year such for a sure. cozy little Halloween movie. I got okay. the one on that. All right. Next one for five points Poltergeist. Okay. Real corpses, skeletons. Maybe. No, the no me that's for sure. Right? Yeah, the they, they were. Yeah. I think they were. I think it's it's a we talked about this in our cursed horror films episode. I think it's kind of a it's like apocryphal that there actually was like a cemetery or there was like a burial ground. I think it it was that the skeletons were like research skeleton like something where it was like we it was like they were shadily acquired kind <laughs> yeah. of uh yeah, I don't know. It's it's the uh Pirates of the Caribbean ride one that's ambiguous, right? I think so, if there's a the real skull. skull in there. All right, what's after Poltergeist? For three points, The Conjuring. For a minute, I was like, are these going to be movies that were directed by someone, but maybe also semi-directed by another person? But no. I thought about doing that as a category. Oh, yeah? And I didn't. Because what else would it be before? That's the thing is I couldn't think of, I couldn't really think of. Ah, oh, man, there was something I just covered recently. Do people do that with Gremlins at all? Do people with attribute Spielberg? that to no. Spielberg? No, that's a Dante movie. Uh, yeah. Which I was just watching the behind the scenes footage and it's so cool to see him like, I'm, I'm, have... I think he looks young. He's probably what, 40 in it, but. See, wearing cozy sweaters. Uh, I just always imagine him in a sweater. No, he's got like sunglasses on. It's really? Cool. Yeah, I just love it. I love it. Okay, so Poltergeist and then. The Conjuring. The Conjuring. Families. Haunted families? Mm-mm. Not haunted families. Uh, nope. I was going to say families with only daughters, but Poltergeist has a son, Robbie, I think. Poltergeist is dope. Poltergeist is awesome. That was one I watched way early That's on. That's a good and one. The, the face tan I was going to say, that movie, me. it's so weird because that movie, I think often is cited as like a, this is a good entry, entry horror, yeah. but you watch it and like, it's fucking terrifying it's, he's his face is melting up and then there's that the big like the... ghost thing in the closet like yeah. that big no it's scary it's, it's an entry honestly if, scary if you want it's an entry for if you want to throw your kid in the deep end yeah 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 the clown is fucking, yeah uh -uh. The, clown, the tree is scary that makes a tree scary yeah i think if if like you have a kid who really is like sick of watching i don't know if, I don't goosebumps. know. I was going to say goosebumps or, or like stuff like that. It's just too, you know, they want the next level up. Poulter has a good choice. Yeah. All right. What's next? For two points, Annabelle comes home. There is the clown in Poltergeist. There's the doll in Annabelle. Oh, wait. Annabelle comes home. The third Annabelle one. Annabelle comes home. The third. That has everything. 
Mm-hmm. That has it's everything. It's the Sorcerer's Apprentice Fantasia <laughs> segment of horror movies, which is why it's a great movie. I fucking love it. We had a blast. I think it's it's that. such a fun movie. God, is the nun in that one too? She show up in that I one? I don't think so. No. Or is or, that like they have like a evil bride? I remember there being an evil bride. Yeah, because there's the whole like and there's before a before they get to the house. There's just a uh, a scene with the uh, the scam artists, the Warrens. Yeah, the Warrens. Yeah, doing their thing with their car broken down or something. But I don't think it's the nun. Yeah, I can't remember. There's all kinds of ghoulies in that movie. What's the fourth one? For one point, April Fool's Day. Oof. Um, are there no kills in any of these movies? That's right. Really? Movies, movies where no one dies. You got it. No one dies in either Poltergeist, The Conjuring, Annabelle Comes Home, or April Fool's It's so funny because when we were talking about Poltergeist and how awesome it was, I, I was going to be like, I wonder if there's a way for me to fudge it to get on the kill count. And I bet you would have reacted to that. Yeah. Because The Conjuring, I doesn't it? I forget if it show, you see ghosts of dead like a hanging. So yeah, you can maybe I think fudge technically that. same with um another one. Uh, I forget uh which writer helped me with this one, but a possible movie was the Babadook, but which is true. But I just mm-hmm. didn't want the comments of people being like, "You see the dad die in the beginning; it doesn't count." No, it's not even in the beginning. It's uh she has a hallucination of him where you see his head That's slide off. Right. So like that would be another ambiguity one. Yeah, I just yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. want to deal with it. Yeah, it's like, do you count the Grady girls in The Shining? I didn't when I did the kill count. If I did it now, I might. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I got that one. I got one point. April Fool's Day was a nice yeah, yeah. reveal of that, yeah. Our first sponsor this week is Dadgrass. Imagine it's Christmas Eve and you can't sleep, so you smoke some weed to help. But uh-oh, you smoke too much, and now you're too high, and now there's a man coming down the chimney to bring you presents. It's already scary, but now it's just too much. You're having a panic attack, Santa's having a panic attack, it's just no good. If you want to indulge but don't want to get too high, Dadgrass is reviving the pleasure of the casual smoke, so you can chill out without all the stress. Not a smoker? Check out their tinctures or their new fast-acting gummies. Dad Deadgrass is legal organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Deadgrass even has products for your furry friends. They've just released CBD dog bones so everyone in the house can enjoy. The best part is all Deadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Right now, Deadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to deadgrass.com slash deadmeat. Go to deadgrass.com slash deadmeat for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash dead meat. Our next sponsor this week is Bon Charge. Bon Charge is a wellness brand with a huge range of products to help you optimize your life in every way. Their extensive range of products help you sleep better, perform better, have more energy, recover faster, the list is endless. From blue light glasses to circadian friendly lighting, Bon Charge products help you naturally address the issues of modern day life effortlessly and with maximum impact. It's the holiday season, so maybe you're flying out of town this week to visit friends and family. I personally have a hard time sleeping on planes, even though I try my best every single time to get some shut-eye. Bon Charge's blackout sleep masks are the most comfortable masks for travel for so many reasons. They're 100% blackout, so it's truly like sleeping in pitch black darkness. Perfect for if your seatmate wants to use the overhead light and you're taking a red-eye flight. They're super soft to wear and have an adjustable strap instead of uncomfortable elastic. And probably my favorite part is the adjustable eye cups. You can fully open your eyes with the mask on so there's no pressure on your eyeballs. I sometimes get nasty headaches when I fly, so the pressureless eye cups on these masks are so helpful for that. Bon Charge ships worldwide in rapid time from Australia where their masks are designed. They also have other amazing products such as low blue light bulbs and blue light glasses, all designed to help you get better sleep. If you want to check out Bon Charge, go to bonchargecom deadmeat and use the coupon code deadmeat to save 20%. That's B-O-N-C-H-A-R-G-E.com slash deadmeat and use coupon code deadmeat to save 20%. Our last sponsor this week is Lomi by Pila. One of my New Year's resolutions is to get better at maintaining our pantry and fridge. I'm so, so bad at letting food go bad and it just feels awful to throw food away in the trash. 
I've always wanted to try composting, but we don't have a good area for it outside and it all just seems like so much work. Then we got a Lomi and it's such a game changer. Lomi allows us to turn food scraps into dirt with the push of a button. It's a countertop electric composter that turns food waste into dirt in under four hours. It's super quiet too. We actually keep it plugged in in the corner of our laundry room. But doesn't it smell, you may be asking? Not at all. It's extremely unobtrusive and and really tidy. We were able to put this thing to the test over Thanksgiving, and honestly, it's worth it just to impress all the parents that were over for dinner. The best part is after all that, you can use the soil Lomi produces to feed your plants. If you want to start making a positive environmental impact or just make cleanup after dinner that much easier, Lomi is perfect for you. Head to Lomi.com slash deadmeat and use promo code deadmeat to get $50 off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to Lomi.com slash deadmeat and use promo code deadmeat at checkout. Food waste is gross, Lomi is your solution. With the holidays just around the corner, Lomi will make the perfect gift for someone on your shopping list. All right, next one for five points. I'm going to fuck up her last name. Jessica Roth? Is it Roth? Roth, I think. Or is it Roth? Jessica Roth. Confident. What? You just threw an extra word in Yeah, there. Jessica Roth. Confident. But no, no, you just you said her name and then you just said another word. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one. Or Chelsea you... Rebecca. Confusing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? For three points. <laughs> Steve Emerson, don't stop me now. Th that's more than one word. That Steve Emerson. Who's Steve Emerson? <laughs> okay, so Jessica Roth is in Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to you. Confident? She's not a con woman. And I wouldn't describe her. Her character arc doesn't really, I wouldn't say it hinges on confidence more being an asshole and then not being an asshole. Steve Emerson? Mm -hmm. Steve Emerson, don't stop me now. Oh, Steve, oh, that's Shaun of the Dead. Oh, Confident, is that a song title? Mm -hmm. Are these characters or actors who play characters who are killed while this song is playing? Correct, you got it for three points. Actors and the songs they've been murdered on screen to. Who else do you think is in here? Ooh, man. Um, tell me the movie. I want to guess one first. Okay. Oh. Jared Leto? Yes, that was for one oh, point. Course, Jared, Jared Leto, Leto being murdered to uh, Hip to Be Square. Nice. And our, our two pointers, Owen Campbell and Don't Fear the Reaper in X. Oh, good. These are good. All right. Who did that category? I would have to look. It wasn't me. It was okay. one of our writers. Good job. It was either Jeremy, Jeremy or Tim. Nice. Coming in clutch. I pulled Tim off this project pretty quickly, so statistically it's likely Jeremy, but whoever did it, good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great work. Yeah, they I did a, a Tim for something They did else. a really good job with these. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Cool. I feel like the ones that are pissing you off the most are ones I came up with. <laughs> Let's have the writers write the games from now on. <laughs> Steve Emerson, is that, that that's the actor's name, yeah. Yeah. And he plays the bartender who gets beat with the pool oh, stick and shit. everything. Oh, sure. The only reason I know that is because I covered that movie in depth and was like, I forget, I think he's in other things or he was also maybe, oh, isn't he, Um, he's a stunt coordinator and he was in uh, Bloody New Year as one of the fuck, he was like the older thug. Who like oh. follows them to the island? I'm pretty sure God, that guy's the New bartender. Year's so fucking weird. That's a weird. I movie, forgot man. that movie's British because they go to that little theme park and stuff. Or that yeah. not even a theme park. That's like a seaside. It's like a carnival. carnival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like those rides look like they're gonna fall apart. And does it still exist? Uh, it does. Oh my it god, does we still have. We have to go there on for our, our honeymoon. honeymoon. We gotta go to the okay. Bloody New Year Carnival. We absolutely have to. We gotta figure out where that is. Write Maybe that we shit can get down. get someone to drive us to it. <laughs> I would say it's. I feel like like other places in Europe, we could rent a car, but I would never in my life trust myself to drive in on the, the wrong side of the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we'll take a the, a train or some shit. I don't know. What do What do you guys they got do there? Trains there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For five points, Jack Quaid. Mm -hmm. Scream. He's the, he's the killer in Scream. You've, you've, had, like you, you've had a year to see it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what's next? For three points, Anthony Anderson. He's in Scream. 
he gets stabbed in the head. Then he walks around for a little while after that. People get stabbed and scream? No. Okay. A lot of people get stabbed and scream. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's all those fucking movies are. Uh, For two points. I didn't even ask for it, but go ahead. Oh. <laughs> hey, you yeah. want it? Yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Matthew Lillard. People in Scream. No, it's... Well, they're... They're all on Scream. Yes, but that's not what it is. If the next person you say is like Timothy Oliphant. Is it Timothy Oliphant? No, it's not Timothy Oliphant. Okay. Do you want the next one? Anthony Anderson. Matthew Lillard. Jack Quaid. I mean, I'll say yes. It like it yes, has all, to do okay, with they're, Scream. They're all on Scream and also on TV shows? No. That's not it. Acknowledge Blackish. <laughs> do you want your one point? Yeah. <laughs> is Blackish still on? I don't know. That was a know. hit, right? That was huge, yeah. Yeah. It was on for like 10 years. No, it was, on was a, it? Yeah. It was on for a long time. Sometimes Goldberg's was a big hit too, right? Yeah. It was also 10 years. And I remember working at NBC when those pilots came in. Like the Goldberg's pilot I watched. And I was like, oh, is this going to get picked up? Boy, did it. Boy, did it. <laughs> That's so weird. I like that the Goldberg's now is like this weird enshrined thing for horror fans as like the last time... uh. Robert England was Freddy Krueger. That's right. <laughs> like yeah. horror fans all know the Goldbergs now. It's yeah. so weird. When was Fred? Yeah. When was uh, Robert England's last appearance in Freddy Krueger makeup? Yeah. On the good, Goldbergs. Good bar trivia to keep in your back pocket. <laughs> all right. Do you want your own point? Yes, please. Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I told you it has to do with Scream, but like it's not that they're all in Scream. This isn't for babies, James. <laughs> This one's hard, uh, oh, <laughs> but I love it? it. Yes. Oh, no. I just, I I picked, I did not write this one. So, okay. One that the writers did that you're getting a little mad at. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not just me. Do they, they die shortly after being on the phone? Oh, man. I thought you were, I thought you were going to say it. They die. Cause they, they, they're like, they're on the phone. Matthew's on the phone with Nev, but then he puts it down and runs at it her. It doesn't have to do with the phone, but it's... How they I, die? I just feel like you're... It's not how they die, but okay. it's... I I picked this one because you're just such a Scream fan that I think if you get it, you'll be so fucking proud they of They die in the but first hard. Scream movie there? No, because Jamie Kennedy dies in Scream 2. What the fuck? Um... Um... Hmm... No, Anthony Anderson hits on a high schooler. Can I give you a clue? Yes. Think of the rules that were established in screen. So no sex. No, no drinking or drugs. Do they all say I'll be right back? They all actors that have all said I'll be right back in a screen movie. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I didn't. Okay. Yep. I couldn't off the top of my head. Recall that Anthony Anderson says that in Scream mm. 4. Jack Quaid, when does he say it? I honestly don't remember. You know what? I feel like he says it and then he's then he probably does a like, oh, oh no, I shouldn't have like something like that. Yeah. Um Matthew Lillard, obviously, and then Jamie Kennedy when he's explaining the rules. I guess Matthew Lillard Jamie Kennedy's the obviously. Matthew Lillard's I'll be right, right back. back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next. See you in the kitchen with a knife. Next one. All right. For five points. Maniac Cop 2. Oh, no. Did we watch that one, Gressel? We watched Maniac Cop. We just watched the first one? Yeah, with Bruce Campbell. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think he might be in the second one, but I don't think I've ever seen Maniac Cop 2, hon. So what the fuck is this? Do you want your next clue? Yes, please. For three points. Friday the 13th, part two. Scream 2 and Nightmare on Elm Street 2? What? You are not amused. Wait, oh no, it's not. They're they're not part twos of horror movies. No. Is that Friday the 13th part two? Friday the 13th part two. I don't know anything about Maniac Cop 2, so that's basically a blank space for me, so I'm going to need the next one. Alien 3 for two points. Alien 3. Hmm. Fincher throwing a wrench into this. Um, The character from the first movie dies in the opening scene. I'll give it to you. These are movies that kill their returning leads. Okay. Uh, Bruce... Oh, let me guess the last one then. Mm -hmm. Movie that kills its returning yeah. lead. Fuck. Uh, 
um, Halloween 5? Yep. Yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode gets oh. killed in no, Halloween the, Resurrection. Oh, Halloween Resurrection. I was saying Halloween 5 because the one uh, uh, Jamie Lloyd's older sister gets killed. Yeah, scared. you're we right. We were just talking about this Oh, my God. Lynch. No, I just was Halloween looking. at. I was like reading like Halloween. I was like, oh, yeah, he's got it. Oh, but okay. yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Resurrection would be the better answer for a Halloween movie. Yeah, Maniac Cop 2, Bruce Campbell is Jack. He gets killed, I think, like right away. I just said I've never seen it. You spoiled that? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Adrian King is Alice, mm-hmm. Sigourney Weaver is Ripley, and then, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. No, Sigour- it's not Sigourney Weaver. It's uh, uh, Hicks and Newt, her love interest and kid. Oh, that's get right. right away in three. Really? Why Didn't they, Don't they kill Sigourney Weaver in three? She though? dies at the end. She sacrifices Oh, that's herself. why I have her on here, though, is oh, it's movies that oh, kill mo- their oh, yeah. returning I, my leads. My mind was still on, like, the opening scene The opening scene, scene sure. Oh, you're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was like, wait. Am yeah. I totally misremembering no, that? No, and then she comes back as fucking... As not her? It's it's, it's like a clone of her, but yeah. it gives them an excuse to have her act all fucking weird and dumb and Joss Whedon-y. Yeah. God, I hate Alien Resurrection. I wonder if I still do. I'll give you two points for that one. Oh. So right. you guessed it at Alien 3. Yeah. Okay, next one for five points. The feeding. I don't know what that is. Next one. For three points. <laughs> the breathing tunnel. Those are what? The feeding and the breathing tunnel? Are these movies? No, they're not. I'll okay. give you that clue. Okay. They're not. The feeding and the breathing tunnel. What's oh, yeah. I guess it's, is it the breathing tunnel or is it the breathing tunnel? You yeah. Know? I don't know. Okay. Both What's of those it? are weird. The next one? For two points. The thing in the basement. The feeding, the breathing tunnel, the thing in the basement. This is hard, but I think it's clever. And is it like I the it. hunger? No, I Mm-mm. saw your little head shake. Mm-mm. They're not like simile or like synonyms for movie titles no are they things that happen in movies no. not like the shunting what's the fourth one one point the whisperer of the dark you're just you're just saying tarot cards to me man i don't know <laughs> do you want the answer yeah what's this one Sounds like you don't read Sutter Kane, bro. These are I, I Sutter don't. Kane novels oh, from In, in the in Mouth, the mouth of, of, Madness. of Madness. Shit. It's okay. hard. Yeah, I've only seen that movie once. I know. I, yeah. I don't think I would have gotten it either, but That's I thought tough. it was clever. It's a good movie, though. I love that movie. It's so fun. For five points, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Okay. Is Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives on here? No. Okay. All right. What's the next one? For three points, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Is Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers on here? No. The Return of Michael Myers and The Revenge of Michael Myers. What's next? For two points, Halloween 78, the original. Does the order of these matter? No. For this round, the order of these does not matter. Just what they have in common. He kills a dog? No. <laughs> Do you want your one point? Yeah. Halloween 07. The Rob Zombie one. I, I don't know. Michael Myers? I mean, <laughs> it has to do with Michael Myers. Um, Family member gets killed? Mm-mm. I don't know. These are all... You want the answer? Yeah. These are all Halloween movies in which Michael wears something on his face that isn't the Michael Myers mask. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so what, uh, the uh, Halloween 78's The Clown Mask, uh, which is also in Halloween uh, 07. Right. In 4, it's a th- um, it's another mask from the, the Halloween store or whatever that they're at? No. Uh, I think maybe you're thinking of 5, where he takes that mask from a, a teen, and it's called the Brute Mask. I didn't know it had a name, but it's weird looking. What's in four? He's oh, covered in ga- bandages. The, yeah, the bandages. Yeah, like the like the gauze, the maze. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Okay. That one's hard. Blah. Okay. 
This is, this is our last one from round one. You ready? Yes. Five points. Yes. Antonio Grazza. Why does that sound familiar? It, do, it does sound familiar. Antonio Grazza. Thanks, Tony. I don't know. Three points. You want your three pointer? Yes, please. Lazarus. Like the Bowie song? Lazarus. Not the Bowie song. <laughs> Antonio Grazza. Are these Hellraiser things? No, I think saying it with that accent is going to throw you off. Antonio Grazza. <laughs> it's not going to help. Okay. Lazarus. Not this. <laughs> All right, what's three? For two points, Billy Blue. Why are these, why is Antonio Grazza and Billy Blue, oh, are they aliases of killers? No. Billy Blue is Valentine, or, uh, right? Mm-mm. Although you're, what you said is very- No, 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 Billy Blue is I Know What You Did Last Summer. Yes. Not the alias of a killer, though. No. Though they think it is. It's the it, it's a red herring. It's the fake name used by another character who is a red herring who's not a killer. Because Billy Blue is uh isn't Billy Blue? Um, is it Jennifer Love Hewitt? Or uh no no it's Freddie Prince Jr. He goes by Billy Blue when he's talking to um um Anne Hesh. Rest in peace. So he's Billy Blue. Antonio Grazza. Uh, what was it? Lazarus? Lazarus. You're getting colder, I think. I feel like I can tell where you're trying to go, and it's not right. Billy Blue, I think, is you're going down the wrong... What What is Billy Blue? Do you remember them? Because it's, it's, it is kind of a red herring, because they think it's... They think it's Billy Blue. They think it's the name of the killer. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm-hmm. What's for? For one point, Orca. The whale? No. Orca? What the fuck? What? Man, the only one that I'm, where, where like I have a firm grasp of what it is, is Billy Blue. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of just going off that. Oh, you're going to be so Antonio Grazza? Billy Blue was said to be a friend of the victim? Uh, of the, the guy... Who didn't kill himself? God, that plot's still confusing. That even after covering it, I'm like, what? Wait, what really happened? Ah, uh, I don't know what. These aren't people; they're boats. These are all boats in horror movies. Billy Blue is the boat. That's right. Yeah. That's how she figures out. Yeah. That. Okay. Because that's they his think boat. it's a person at first. Orca. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. What's Orca? Is that Jaws? Jaws. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Gressel, did you know this one? No. Okay. <laughs> La oh, Lazarus is fucking Jason Takes Manhattan. Lazarus is Jason Duh. Takes Manhattan. And, and Antonio it Grazza is Ghost Ship. Oh! The boating Ghost Ship. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I could have gotten it. I always forget that the Orca is the name of the ship in Jaws. Mm -hmm. It's con it. it I think because it's a whale. Yeah. It, so my mind goes there. Yeah. And like, I love Jaws. I think it's incredible, but I didn't watch it a ton as a kid. Because it just felt old as a kid. So I would watch it like once every few years and be, you know, the like out of obligation, I feel. Mm -hmm. I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now. Fuck. All right. We're going to Lazarus. Yeah. We're moving on to round two. And these are sequences. There's there's less of round two because I just these were harder to come up. With. Okay. So each set of four clues is going to form a sequence. And I'm going to give you a maximum of three clues, and you have to determine what could come forth. So some of these are going to have more than one correct answer, technically. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Want to get started? Yeah. All right. For five points, your first clue in this sequence. Secretly dating. That's your first clue. <laughs> that could be so many things. What's the next clue? Three points. Acting alone. Acting alone? Mm hmm Okay. What's the next one? Okay, this is your last clue. You yeah. have to tell me what comes yeah, last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two points. Met online. Secretly dating. Acting alone. Met online. What? Met online? Acting alone is difficult. I don't understand what that's trying to say. Acting alone? Or um, Let me rephrase it. Okay. I guess if that's confusing you. Um... 
pretending to be alone? No, I could say lone wolf, maybe. Secretly dating. Lone wolf. Lone wolf. Single. I don't know. Okay. Now my brain's stuck on Valentine for some reason. No. <laughs> that movie's Fucking Valentine. Good. I don't like that movie. That's like the, it's like a cherub face killer, right? In that. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I I don't know, man. This is I I don't get it. I'm gonna give you what the last, what the the last thing in the sequence is, and I'm gonna see if you can tell me. Okay. What the the se what the answer is. The last thing in this sequence is best friends. They have to be. These are character relationships. Mm -hmm. Yes. In a group of characters. Mm -hmm. Met online. Secretly dating. Lone wolf and best friends. These aren't the stay alive. I think characters, Gressel might know they? what it is. Huh? If Gressel knows it, then it's gotta be. Then that. I might be wrong. It's not like Scream. No one's secret, secretly dating. Scream. Do you want the answer? Because now I'm worried you're not gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> it is Scream. Jill and Charlie are secretly dating oh, in that movie. Four. Yes. These are Jill and wait, Jill and Jill and Charlie? Yeah. I uh, know. They're no. secretly dating They're in not that movie. Dating. They're secret accomplices. They're secretly Google it. Literally Google uh, no. it. No, 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 no. He thinks they're dating. She's just using him. I feel like for that to be secretly dating, there has to be there that's unrequited, man. I know she makes out with him when they reveal that they're the killer. She's still manipulating him with that. I I don't buy that. I don't buy secretly dating. Oh, is it, is it the Scream Killers? This is this. So best friends is Scream. Uh, acting alone is Scream Three. Is Roman and met online. Oh yeah, because they met. Wait, is that Scream Two? Two. Yes, okay, so it yeah. goes four, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, that's great. So on the Scream Wiki, it says secretly Charlie no. dated Kirby's best friend Jill, who wanted vengeance on. No. Fine. We can all we can all yell about it. Let's have comments. a fight in the comments. Were they dating? I say no. I say Jill was just using Charlie. How else could I have... For, like, what do you think would have made more sense um, for that? I don't know. Like, what's the... You know, it's got to be concise is the uh, thing. Like, uh, they do, but I, I feel like dating in, it implies actual feelings for each other. Whereas he's into her, but she's just like, this fucker, she's just waiting to kill him. So like plotting for fame, maybe, but that's pretty. But that's her. That's very specific. And that's you know. Well, he's kind of doing. I guess because yeah. he's live streaming and stuff. Or like he has his like live stream. Yeah. Fight in the comments. Let's see what's up. That's okay. That's the. It's only the first one we've had. So many. That's the first one where I just I disagree with. It's okay. Was that you? Yeah, I just think <laughs> fame also would have really given it away. It really would have. That's a tough one, but I like the category. It's great. I, I think that they're dating and have a weird, bad r relationship. <laughs> I think she's using him, but. Uh, I Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's it's what you consider dating, you know? I'm sure she told him at some point, yes, Charlie, we're dating. I'm your girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. But, like, do you would you consider that dating if you don't believe she was ever sincere about it? I don't know. That's and this also is more like how they're each connected to each other and yeah. not their motives like sure, fame sure, is the yeah. motive but like their connection is mm -hmm. romantic in some capacity see that's i think that's up for debate but good category yes and that was mine <laughs> okay next one for five points your first hint is the bedroom the bedroom mm -hmm. it's a room where you sleep have sex sometimes die What's next? For three points, kitchen cabinets. Kitchen cabinets. It's a place where you put your cups, your plates, sometimes die. In what? <laughs> Are you dying <laughs> in the kitchen cabinets? Bedroom, kitchen cabinet. Mm -hmm. The kitchen cabinet is a very specific It's very specific. Place. Mm -hmm. All I'm thinking of is the leprechaun popping out of it in the first one in the farmhouse. It's No, it's not that. It has nothing to do with leprechaun? No, nothing to do with leprechaun. Because he does kill that chick with the, or the guy with the robot chick no, in the I bedroom. I promise this one has Are nothing sure? to do with leprechaun, yes. Okay, just making sure. Next one. 
For two points. My last clue. Oscillating fan. Oh. Kitchen cabinet? Do you want me to read them out loud in order again? Bedroom, kitchen cabinet, oscillating fan. Oh, oscillating fan. Oh, paranormal activity scares. Paranormal paranormal activity camera locations. What's the, the fourth in the sequence, though? Oh. So bedroom, he sets it up in the original. Part two, the kitchen cabinet, everything flies out. So it's where, and then where, and then uh, bedroom? Because she has, like, the webcam. Um, in? In four. I'll it's count that. Newton. I'll count that. I had Xbox Connect, but I count that. It's a camera location. Okay. It is it is locations of cameras in paranormal activity one through four. Okay. I'll yeah, give yeah, you yeah. Yeah. So you get I'll give you your two points. Yeah, because they use the Xbox that. Connect, but I also like the poster image is her in her yes, bedroom. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that was Catherine That's Newton. That's Catherine Newton when she's like sixteen Young. or something. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Next one for five points. Pearl. <laughs> okay. Next one? Yeah. For three points, Sam. 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 Uncle Sam? Not Uncle Sam. S- uh, I don't know who Sam is. You know Sam. Oh, Sam from Trick or Treat. Mm-hmm. Pearl from Pearl and X. Oh. Does Sam want to be famous? Sam will not accept a life he does not deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Sam he will, will not, not accept, accept a Halloween, Halloween. That yeah. he does not deserve. Honestly, that's pretty much his whole thing. <laughs> All right, what's the third one? For two points, Coraline. Ooh. Coraline. I'll give you a hint. The order of these is important. Oh, it is? Yes. Uh, Can I... It's Pearl the character, not the movie, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. So Pearl... From Pearl and X. I'll I'll give you one more. It's Pearl from Pearl. Okay. To help you out a little bit. Um, I want you to get this one. Took place in like 1917. Uh, in Texas. Trick or Treats, Ohio. Sam. Um, Sam's walking around. He's watching stuff he shouldn't watch. He's a little boy, kind of. Um, he kills with a lollipop. Um, he hangs out with a bunch of dead kids. Pearl, Sam, what was the third one? Coraline. Coraline. Fuck, it's been a minute since I saw that movie, man. That's fine. This does not require intense knowledge of the film Coraline. (sighs) I was going to say something with their moms, but Sam, we don't really... Get it. Sam's throwing me off because he's just a little pumpkin boy. I don't remember him staring at the camera and crying for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Coraline, but without knowledge of the movie, is just she's just a little girl who goes through to another world. She crawls around. Sam crawls around. Does Pearl crawl around? Again, the order of these... Oh important. yeah, the order is important. Mm-hmm. I I don't know, hon. This one's a bit more lateral thinking than these other ones. This one you could have a very you could just know kind of who these characters are and what they look like, and you'd be able to figure this one out. I think that's kind of why it makes it hard, honestly. I forget what Pearl wears. Sam wears orange and Coraline wears that yellow jacket. Orange, yellow. Does Pearl wear red? She wears a red Mm -hmm. dress. So red, orange, yellow. Is next blue? The next is green. That's the colors of the rainbow. (laughs) Red, orange, yellow, green. Oh. (laughs) You tried. (laughs) I was on the right track. What? Who's a horror character that, that wears... wears green? Last night in Soho. Sure, I'll count that. I was hoping you would say Leprechaun. <laughs> no! I failed you, my little shit. They're just characters who wear, yeah, red, <laughs> orange, yellow, green, respectively. Okay, uh, we got two more. Okay, we'll fly through these. Okay, five points. 
Silent Night, Deadly Night. Yeah. Great movies. Best movies ever made. That's not the answer, no. Okay. Want your next? Yes, please. Three points. Black Christmas. Okay, it can't be as simple as Christmas it's, horror no, movies. No, no. Yeah. It's, <laughs> okay, what's next? Two points. Dead Silence. The James Wan movie? Mm-hmm. We're talking a lot about James Wan here, man. Mm-hmm. And so now you have to tell me what comes forth in this sequence. The order of these does not matter. I'll give you. Oh, oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Uh, um, but they're all bad Billies. So I can't say thanks killing where it's an innocent Billy who gets killed and then a song sung about him. Who's another bad Billy? Bad Bill. Oh, Jigs, uh, the song. Yeah, there you go. I would have accepted Scream or Carrie. Or Jack Frost. Jack Frost. I guess it's, there's a Billy in that. I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't write this one. The writers did. I don't fucking know Jack Frost very well, and that's fine. <laughs> I wonder if we would like it anymore. We hated it when we watched it in 2017. <laughs> it's, it's exhausting. <laughs> it's so exhausting. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. All right, last one. You ready? Yeah. For five points, Jason Voorhees. Good voice. No, no, <laughs> that's not good voice. You okay. don't want to take a wild swing? No. Masks. No. Okay. Three points. Leatherface. Again, it's not good voice. Good voice, masks. No, it's not good voice. It's not masks, no. Characters who use or pop culture believes them to use chainsaws? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Two points is your last hint. It better not be goddamn Freddy or Michael, hon. Victor Crowley. Oh, they're characters that Kane Hodder has played. Yes, these are all... Okay, so what's your what's the last one? Because I, I think he did stunts for Leatherface in uh, 3, like Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. He did. So then he would have also played, I don't know, Security Guard and Jason Goes to Hell? <laughs> sure, I was hoping you would... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, th let, me, let me try to think of what actually... Okay. Later. Have I seen this movie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wishmaster? No. No, because they're like killers. Killers. Okay, killers. killers that Kane Hodder has played. I'll say the it's killers all technically played by Kane Hodder. Oh, so, oh, Freddy Krueger? That's right, plays the Freddy Krueger. And Jason Goes to Hell that pulls him down? Yes, he technically has played Freddy Krueger in Jason Goes to Hell. There you go. I don't even know why I'm going to bother adding up these points because we didn't have time to get you prizes. The mother fucking... Poo basketball thing is sitting downstairs in our foyer, and you could have had that as a prize that I could have won. But it's already with a certain in our amount house. Of points. Well, but you're you're keeping it from me. You're withholding it. A fan gave it to us at Monster Palooza, like, and you took it from my hands and said, "You have to win this in a game." Did I say and that? And now we're playing a game <laughs> that I did better than expected at, and I could have won the poop basketball. Did I really say that? I'm yes, use you it said I had to win it in a game. You were withholding. Thing, and the toilet basketball is down there in the foyer, and now we don't even know if I could have legally won it. I think you won it. You did really good. It, it's not the same. Well, here, you want me to add up your points? I, yeah. I don't really know, because I also was like, <laughs> I've never played this before. I don't know how hard this is going to be. I have no idea what range of points is like. Well, okay, how many questions were there total? I don't know. I have to count them. Because if I got an average of one eight, point a question, seven, that sounds like Pooskaball to me. <laughs> There's 18. I didn't get 18 points, but count it up. Two, <laughs> there are too seven, many goose eggs on those sheets, man. You got 17 points. No! <laughs> <laughs> I think you win the the basketball. Don't give me the pity give. Aww. I set the rules for myself and I failed to meet them. Damn it. I mean, I you didn't have to say anything. I forgot that I said I was going to like hide it from you and not give it to you until you won it. Well, I had fun. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was fun. This was, I like. Yeah, this I mean, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go because it's like, 
thir- it's hard to write these, and we had a day. Yeah. And no, you whipped it out real fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because so we thought we were going to film, like, tomorrow or the next day, and then And then it was changed. like, no, we have to film this tonight. Yeah. So we had a day to the, write these. You did these. great. I, I thought they were really, a lot thank, of really inspired ones. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy and Tim. Thank you, guys, as I did, always. We could not have, have filmed this uh, episode today. And thank you, Gressel, of course, as always. Yeah. Behind the camera, doing line producing. <sighs> I guess that's it until next year. Yeah. I hope you all have a lovely holiday. I hope they had fun. I had fun. Did you like it? Yeah, I had fun. I felt bad at how frustrated you were getting. Well, that's the games. I know. That's what we do here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will have to make me play a game. Yeah. Like, taste my own medicine. Yeah. I don't know what kind of game, though. I, well, we could always do the Who Am I game, the three of us again. I do love that. People really like that. I'm shocked people like that episode. It, it was just such a last minute, like, fuck, I have to come up with something. Was that also an end of the year type It thing? was. I think that all, that was, I think, before right a before break, a break. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that might have been, yeah, end of the year. But I don't know. That was, I had fun. Thank you, hon. Good. I'm glad I had fun, too. Yeah. I had fun coming up with these. Um, lots of googling really random shit to make sure that these all made sense yeah yeah cool um i guess until next year yeah you uh, can follow dead meat on social media at dead meat james on twitter instagram and tiktok and i'm at carebeck c-a-r-e-v-e-c-c on twitter and instagram and if you want merch deadmeatstore.com yeah lots of merch items there lots of them yeah we've got like business and all sorts yeah, of shit thank Final you Girl ben stuff. for helping us yes with the merch ben, killing that yeah all right we're leaving the best year of horror ever possibly 20 we'll see what 2023 maybe that should be the first uh episode oh, of 2023 we, is we, the idea that i had oh where we compare because uh we were talking to joe lynch and he was like um, someone said this was the best year for horror since 1987. I was like, I think it's the best year for horror ever. But then we started looking at the list of 1987. It's pretty damn Pretty good. fucking good. Yeah. So I think some sort of bracket system where we seed the movies from 2022 and 1987 and then have those go up against each other and see who wins the most matches. The like idea that. where the most people are going to yell at us ever for an episode where yeah. we just make movies fight each other. Yeah. Maybe. It'd be fun. It would be fun. Yeah. Excuse to watch a lot of movies that we haven't seen. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Well, until next year, I'm Chelsea. And I'm James. And this has been the Dead Meat Podcast. (laughs) 